is breaking news. Hi everyone, along with Heather Holman, I'm Kevin Ogo. I'm going to get you caught up on our very critical breaking news right now. We've been telling you about it. A two-year-old boy kidnapped. He was in the back seat of his car. It was left running. His mother got out to go fetch a dog, and that's when someone drove off with the car. He has been missing now for almost uh. one hour. Police right now are getting together an Amber Alert. You'll likely hear your phones go off as soon as that happens. We want to check back in with Caitlin Ogle now live at the scene where all of this started. Katie, tell us where you are and what happened. Well, Heather, we're right in front of the house where the car and the child was taken. More police have arrived. I believe more family members have arrived. In fact, someone drove by and told me they were the grandmother, so we know the grandmother was here. And just before we got on air, two officers and a man went down this hill, and you can see them right now. My photographer is going to show you. They went over here to look around. Now, I did talk to neighbors off camera, and they say they don't exactly have a lot of homeless people in the area. Area, but when they do, that's the area they are in. They will walk along I-235 in that area. And police believe the person who hopped in the car was a homeless person. Now they're looking for a 2019 Infiniti QX50. It was stolen with the two-year-old boy inside. That license plate is JEP370. He was a white male. Six feet tall, dark hair with dirty clothes. We have that picture and the picture of the child and the car. We also hear a lot of police helicopters flying overhead. We're still trying to find out more information, but it does look like more family members are arriving and you can see the police officers walking by us right now. So we're going to try and gather more information. But for now, we're live here in Oklahoma City. Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma News 4. All right, Katie, thank you very much. And just if you live in that area, you might stick your head out the door and see if you see an infinity parked along your street somewhere or because they did have access to Broadway extension. That person in that car it could be anywhere. So you right. might just stick your head out and see, is there a blue infinity parked on my street I haven't seen before? And we saw in Caitlin's live shot there that that is right up against I-235. You can see the wall, mm -hmm. the highway there. So that vehicle could just hop on and we don't know where it could be at this point. But again, you're looking at the make of the vehicle. It is an Infinity and the tag there, JEP370. And that sweet little boy right there is the boy that was inside two years old. So, you know, obviously just terrifying for him and uh, his family right thing. now. Yeah. And our hearts go out to all of them. So if you would, like Kevin said, look around, be on the lookout for this Infinity. Please call Oklahoma City Police if you know anything. Yeah, that would help. And uh, hopefully this person will realize, realize there's, there's a child in the car and they parked it somewhere and then took off. That's what we hope. We're going to go back to programming and we will keep you updated. Let's check back in with oh. Caitlin before we go back to programming, though, because Caitlin, show us again if your photographer could turn around and show us that wall backing up to I-235 to show just the proximity yes. and also that wooded area. It appeared where they were looking to see if yes. there was a homeless camp. Let's show him the wall again. Yes, yes, my photographer Gage is going to pan over to that wall. I haven't been able to see a homeless camp, but neighbors tell me they do see there is some kind of clear path around this area. I can see it. There is a green belt where homeless people are able to walk along that edge. And whenever, again, they said they don't usually have homeless people, but that is where they go. Um, and again, that is where we just saw police officers uh, with the other person investigating the area. Also on the scene here, it's kind of hard to see from our camera, but we do have, we can see some family members are gathered around a tree. Um, I'm not sure if you're able to see that from our shot, but we believe those might be family members. We're going to try and talk with them, but we're actually not allowed to get very, very close, but we're still trying to figure out more information. Police tell us to keep an eye on their social media for any updates. For now, that's all we know. Back to you. All right, Caitlin, thank you. And that area that you saw is a drainage ditch, not that one, but the tree line area. And if you've been around Oklahoma City for any amount of time lately, you know that those areas that are wooded like that, homeless people do camp out in those areas. 
Right. And as we've been telling you that right now police are putting together an amber, amber alert. It does take a while on these sometimes. An hour has passed, so this vehicle could be anywhere. I keep my phone close because that's how I get updated information um, on, on my phone for the news. And so my phone likely will sound here any minute when the Amber Alert happens, as will yours. And we're just asking everyone, if you happen to see an Infinity in your area that matches this make and model, 2019, there with the license plate JEP370, to please call police. Now, again, Caitlin was showing us the area where this happens. You noticed in the background there was the large railroad crossing going across 235, if that helps you put things into perspective on where this happened along Northwest 50th and Harvey. When you're going down 235, there's the giant railroad crossing that you drive underneath. So this is in that area. And we don't, you know, it's been an hour. We, who knows where they could be at this point. Yeah. Hopefully the car is parked. That's what we're hoping. Hopefully the child is safe. Yeah, we're hoping for that for sure. Here's